2021 Intense Taser Expert. This is my second ride. I've gone to Alum Creek Phase 1, which is a little rougher, tighter trail. I wanted to see how the big burly downhill machine worked there. So far, I, I'm really digging this bike. I know the first impression went really well, but I like the Fox 38s, the performance fork, uh, and the uh, X2 float shock. I did lower the uh, pressures a little bit for today's ride. It's kind of choppy, rooty, lots of little rocks or roots around here, so I wanted to get a little more comfort. I'm not doing any jumps or anything like that. Um, but man, I'm really digging it. I like the I like the big beefy DT Swiss wheels and um, the brakes are working good. The Shimano SLX, it's a 12 speed. It's shifting fine. Um, the battery, the power, the, the battery, I, I think I went 13 miles and still had six miles. I was in all turbo. I had six miles of range along with, uh, I think up to 13 more miles range if I was in eco. But um, I'm running boost today. I just like, I like boost. It's got plenty of range for what I do. Battery's easy enough to change if you had a spare, if you actually needed one. But the bike is light. I like the geometry. I like the, I think it's got about a 450 chain stay and the, the front center is nice. It just feels with the mullet, it just feels like a big old dirt bike to me, which is what I like. I ride moto mostly, and I like to be able to get on a mountain bike that just makes me feel comfortable and kind of like a dirt bike, and that's what this thing does. And these trails tend to be a little bit more tight and technical, so I just wanted to see how the bike felt in this kind of these kind of conditions. And so far it's passing with flying colors. I think I mentioned before the Shimano motor is the 7,000. So it's it's only rated, I think it's 60 Newton meters. But that's like 30% less than my Levo. But I would never know that if I rode it. If I didn't know that, it just doesn't feel like that. It certainly doesn't have quite the brute power of the Bros motor. But it seems to enjoy... Wow, I don't know where I'm going here. It seems to like the uh, the um, higher pedal cadence more so than like the Levo has a lot of torque right away and this one tends to like a faster pedal cadence and it makes power up to a higher RPM which is kind of cool but it does feel real natural yeah it doesn't have I don't think there's a bunch of tuning options I know that the Shimano 8 motor you can do a lot of tuning with the app, but I'm not sure this motor has that option in this bike. But I don't really miss it because Eco is nice and soft, and Trail is probably my. So it's the most natural feeling assist level, and Boost is my favorite because it gives you the most power. But I don't really feel any big need to change anything on them. You got three very different settings that you can cycle between easily. So, I, it's very, uh, it's very well thought out or, or well done. So, thanks guys. Which I like it a lot. So the motor and the battery's five, uh, 504 watt hours. No big concern to me. It's got plenty of range for what I do. But it's easy enough to buy a spare and change them out fast. And honestly, I kind of like the fact that it's lighter. This bike weighs like 49 and a half, maybe 50 pounds. Which sounds like a lot, but it's holding the weight low. So it feels light. I like that. And I mentioned before, I just like the way this bike feels when I'm, I'm on, on my, on the, on the pedals and the, and the, um, through the bars just the, my body weight distribution is really good and it just feels natural through the corners I feel like I have good traction gives me kind of confidence in what the bike's gonna do this bike has 165 mil cranks so I think my sh my Levo's are 160 so this gives a little better leverage, but you got a little better chance for uh, pedal strikes. Again, this 
Shimano motor, especially in boost rips. I like it. Got a tiny bit of battery rattle up front, but it's no big deal. Don't really even notice it. Unless you're really paying attention. It is windy today. Got a storm blowing in. It's gonna be rain in here shortly. Mid 60s in the middle of November in Ohio. Gotta take advantage of that. So what else? Changes, man. The only thing I might do is put a set of, I think it's the one up carbon bars. Got a tiny bit more rise than this and I just love how they flex. I have them on my Levo Expert. I just like the feel of them. That way when I jump between bikes I have a similar bar bend and feel. But that's really about it so far. Don't have so many miles on it yet but the first two rides on my kind of semi-familiar trails. It's passing with flying colors. Lap time wise, it actually beat my best Levo lap time by about four seconds on similar trail conditions. It wasn't the exact same day. So it's competitive with my Levo expert in terms of lap times, but I'm having fun kind of do some more back to backs with both of those bikes and get the, the nuances of each bike. So Oh, I feel like I picked up a stick. And I did. So, 2021 Taser Expert. This is a fun bike. like the geometry, like the feel. Shimano motor, smooth, quiet. It's got full carbon, $62.99. It's a pretty reasonably priced bike. Two big thumbs up. 